Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy as Promo. And today we're gonna to take a look at a menu that you normally wouldn't think of when it comes down to your Samsung Galaxy Watch, and that is the developer options. So we're gonna unlock the developer options on the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro here, and we're gonna take a look at everything it has to offer. Now, normally when it comes down to the developer options, I always use it with my Samsung devices, just because most of the time, I usually like to have a couple options turned on or off. Sometimes I actually like to turn on the option of keeping the screen on when charging sometimes i turn it on turn it off for different purposes of what i'm doing but a lot of the times i always like to change all of the animation scales the window animation scales just because i'm trying to go from screen to screen as quick as i can i don't really care as much of all of these little animations uh, kind of coming in and out of all the different windows you can still have it but you can just make it go quicker so all you'd have to do is just go inside of your about watch which is inside of the settings of the watch. Now inside of About Watch, you're gonna scroll down, take a look at your software information. You go to that software version and then you just tap on this thing basically seven times and then developer mode has turned on. So just hit your back button. You're gonna go the back button one more time, scroll down and there's your option for developer options. So let's just take a look at everything of what we have here. Maybe it's the exact same as a phone. I don't know for sure. This is my first time taking a look at it here on the watch. So we have stay awake while charging. Uh, you also have Bluetooth snoop logging. Hey, if there's any of these that you've played with, maybe that you've already Googled, uh, let me know what this Bluetooth snoop logging is. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna have to take a look at it after this video vibrate on connectivity change so if you have any type of a connectivity change if you're going from maybe an lte to wi-fi or or i should say even to bluetooth anytime that there's a change you can actually have it vibrate so you're knowing that your watch is going through that change smart illuminate wow okay so i'm gonna have to maybe play with some of these to see exactly what some of these mean smart illuminate i'm just gonna turn that on just to see what happens maybe i'll find out and maybe make a future video you have ADB debugging, enable OEM unlock, uh, debug over Bluetooth. So those ones are grayed out. Maybe we'll try to figure out why they're grayed out and we can try to toggle them back on. Wireless debugging, revoke debugging authorizations, the wear developer options. So let's see, force display burn-in protection. Uh, that one right now is disabled. Forced low bit ambient mode. Well, that's kind of cool right to left swipe to dismiss so it looks like there's a few of them inside of here and this is kind of like the developer options of the galaxy wear uh partition basically it's that that category it's that portion of when you open up that the the, the galaxy wearable application inside of the wear application you're going to basically have you know the one for your watch one for your buds and this one is going to be for your watch the wear developer options forceful gnss measurements select mock location app logger buffer sizes debug layouts force right to left layout so if you really want to mess with some people if you turn this one on um, it's going to make everything go backwards so yeah <laughs> um, i've actually done this as a joke to a friend who left their phone out i just turned this on right there and they had no idea what happened to their their entire device their entire menu so yeah, if you want to have like a little fun little trick on your buddy, you can do that one. Let's see here, De debug overdraw, debug GPU profiling. And then here's some of the ones that I usually change. Window animation scale. So it's at one, I'm just gonna put it at 0.5. Um, and so when it goes through all these different animations from the window animation, the transition animation scale, the animator duration scale. So now all of these ones I always put at 0.5. So then there's at least something there because sometimes if you put it all the way down to zero, you may have some problems, especially when you press and hold on an application on the home screen, that little animation of, a, of the application kind of bouncing around that allows another screen to pop up that gives you more additional options. Sometimes that does have some problems. Uh, here is your pointer location. You can have show taps on, uh, bug report in menu, turn on Wi-Fi automatically when charging. So that's a good option right there. I already had that one turned on. Wi-Fi verbose logging, uh, turn off, automatic Wi-Fi, let's see, mobile battery saver. So that's probably definitely something that you wanna have on. And I guess that's gonna be the, the Bluetooth low energy type thing because it's talking about your mobile battery saver. So when it's connected, G uh, the 3GPP at commands, don't know what that is. 
battery optimization. You have your DPI, so you can change your pixel density, basically. Let's see, what is battery optimization? Calendar storage. There's not available. Samsung Health, Download Manager, Messages. Wow. So when you go through some of these ones, you can actually select some of the, the services and applications to have battery optimization turned on. Sometimes when the battery optimization is turned on on some of those applications, that just means that you may not get notifications from them for a while, unless if you open them up. Uh, you also have system state overlay, app notifications, and then Samsung verbose debug logging. Let's see, app notifications. So you can go through here. You can see what is allowed for watch apps, what is blocked. You can take a look at all of the watch apps. So if you want to take a look at all of your notifications, you can do it through here. System state overlay. So don't know what that one is. Again, I'm just going to have fun and maybe Google some of these later on. But yeah, this is pretty much every single thing. And I'd have to say that out of everything that I was kind of expecting, this has way more options than what I thought. It's pretty much almost the exact same of what you see on your phone. The phone does have a few more. So it's pretty fun to see a full list of developer options for the watch. So then this way it gives all the availability of anybody who has any of the Samsung SDKs or someone who is a developer of Samsung watch applications. You can go through here and actually play with a lot of this stuff. Um, that smart illuminate was one that I had and it was actually taken off. So I just put it right back on. So that is pretty much every single thing. Uh, with this one. That's how you're able to unlock the developer options. Now, if at any point in time, I wonder if there's a way that you can actually turn this off. So it looks like Smart Illuminate is one that actually turns off every single time after you turn it on. So I don't know for sure if you're able to turn off the um, developer options on the watch, unless if maybe you just restart it, maybe just turn your watch off, turn it back on, maybe it'll go away. Don't know for sure. Um, but yeah, this is just me playing with it, realizing that it's actually there and I wanted to show it with you guys, discover it with you guys. So there's gonna be a little bit more research that I need to do, but there's a lot of cool things if you want to play with it. I wouldn't suggest playing with everything just because again, you know, if you don't understand what it means, you might not want to mess with it. Uh, but the nice thing is that if you do mess with it and there is a problem, you can just restart your watch, you know, do a factor data reset. You're going to be perfectly fine. But again, I wouldn't mess with too many things. Mostly what I do is going to be either the stay the screen on while charging. And I always play with the animation scale windows uh, just because I wanna go through the watch a little bit quicker. So when you go through all your different tiles, when you go through your menus, when you open some things up, when you go from app to app to app, uh, especially when you go back to your home. So like if I was to go through here, let's say I tap on this one, when I go back home, it's gonna be quite a bit quicker rather than showing the full animation of what it's supposed to show. But that's everything that I wanna talk about today. Hopefully you guys appreciated the video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.